Hello everyone, welcome back to day 22 of 31 days of all treats. If you guys have not seen the other 21 days, go check this out. But today, we will be making Chicken Alfredo Ghost Pizza. If you guys are enjoying the series, please consider subscribing, like this video, and enjoy! In a bowl, add in two packages of quick rice yeast. Then add in two cups of all-purpose flour and three teaspoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and mix that together. Next up, we're going to add in a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of basil. And then we're going to stir that in again. Then add in four tablespoons of olive oil. Mix that another time. Then we're going to add one and a half cups of warm water. Once that's done, we're going to continue adding in flour a third of a cup at a time so that we can get the dough to form a ball and so it'd be easier to knead later on. And so you don't want it to be too sticky, but you also don't want it to be too dry, so just add a little bit of flour at a time. Once it's at the desired consistency, take another bowl and pour in some olive oil. Then take a pastry brush or a paper towel to spread it along all of the inside of the bowl. Then we are going to bring back our dough, place it in the bowl, and roll around the ball of dough around the, in the olive oil so that we can have a nice layer on top of it. Then we are going to cover the bowl with either plastic wrap or a clean towel and let that rise for 30 minutes. Once it's risen, then punch it down so that it can go back to its original size, knead it a little bit. Then we are going to flour a surface, put the dough on the floured surface. And we're going to roll it out into a rectangle. Make sure that you put flour on your hands and on the rolling pin and on the dough so that it does not stick. Then we're going to transfer this to a baking tray that is lined with parchment paper. And then we are going to shape it into, the, into a form of a ghost. Then we are going to take a fork and stab little holes into it. Let that bake for about five minutes. Next, we are going to take some Alfredo sauce and pour it on as the base. Then after that, we are going to take some chicken. I made it myself, but you can also get rotisserie chicken. If you are making it yourself, you should use some garlic salt and Italian seasoning just so that the flavors get brought out more in the pizza. Then you add that on top, and then you're going to take some mozzarella cheese and add that on top as well. Take some more basil leaves and put that on top. Then we're going to bake this at 425 degrees for about 13 to 15 minutes. Then I just top mine with some black olives to be a little ghost looking face. And then once it's cooled off enough, it is ready to enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like consider subscribing and i'll see you guys all next time bye